Okay, so keep in mind again that this is the base, like the basic as it gets, and this is being ready to be crated up and shipped down to Texas next week. And this particular customer wanted a custom gray hull with a white cap, and so we went with a whisper gray. I really like how it turned out. And then we have a the standard white cap with non-skid, so nice and soft on your feet, but plenty of grip for what you need. This particular customer is going to build out the deck how he wants. I believe he has a grab bar with a cooler mount that he's wanting to install. And as for the seat, I'm not sure what he plans to do, but it's very easy to customize this deck to your liking. So starting up at the bow with the hulls, we have a nice and strong, sturdy stainless bow eye for trailering, towing, whatever reason you might need that, it's there. Each hole has a very pronounced reverse chine and that is to throw the spray down and keep the rest of the boat dry. It works very well and in a good amount of chop, this thing will stay perfectly dry. So again, taking another look up at the front here, we have the bow eye and then we have our non-skid finish. And that is nice and soft on your feet, but it's still plenty aggressive to keep you on the boat and not slipping around. So that is the basic deck finishing. Moving down to the rear, again, we have an 11 foot length and a 50 inch beam. Tons of stability on this little boat. The basic package will come with two hatches, you can see here and these are very waterproof. I actually go ahead and add an extra layer of sealant tape and this really keeps out all the weather. So very, very dry hatches. And then we have our empty holes here and there's tons of storage. You can fit all sorts of fishing rods down in here, paddles, your safety gear, everything. It can all go down in these holes. So there's just tons of room down in here and they are left bare so you can mount whatever you want there's all sorts of bedding compounds that'll pretty much get anything mounted wherever you want it within these holes. And these are just twist to close and they cinch down nice and tight for a really weather tight seal. So any waves that come over, whatever it is, if you're washing the boat, things stay very dry down there. Working our way to the rear of the boat, uh, it's kind of just your basic setup with a boat. We have two tie downs on each side. So trailering, just hook right up just like any other boat. And you're nice and secure. If you're at docking or you want something to tie off to, you can tie off here. And then we have our motor mount. And these are glassed on there permanently. They are not coming off. They're very, very solid. And these can be cut to fit any particular motor. This particular customer had a short shaft, 16 and a half inch mercury. So I made sure that everything was fit to size so he gets the best possible performance out of this boat. Taking a look back at the rear, you can see that these holes stay nice and chunky. So there's a lot of volume back here to support whatever outboard you put on there and whatever other gear you might place on the boat. You're not going to be sitting stern heavy at all. There's just a lot of flotation in the back here to keep the boat sitting nice and have it looking good as it sits on the water. And it also just, again, keeps that performance going very well. You can also, again, see that those reverse chines follow through all the way to the very rear to keep the spray down no matter where you're going. So real quick, let's just do some of the most common questions I get from people. Uh, the first one is, can you register these? Yes, of course you can register these. Each boat comes with its own hull identification number, which is engraved in the hull. And it also comes with the paperwork to take it down to whatever state office you have to go to and you register it just like any other boat. Put your numbers and letters on the sides here and you're ready to go. Another question is what kind of motor and what size? So I recommend any short shaft motor. We can do a long shaft, but uh, I would it would be best if you were to tell me that so I can make sure that this is the right height for you. Uh, basically any short shaft motor, I recommend anything between eight and 15 horsepower. I myself run an eight and that is more than enough for me. I get into the 
20, 21 mile an hour range when it's just me on the boat with not a lot of gear. Uh, if I'm fully loaded down with gear, trolling motor and batteries, uh, probably high teens is where I end up. And high teens on a little tiny boat like this feels like you're going 35 miles an hour. It's a lot of fun. Another question is transport. So I did keep it 50 inches wide and that is narrow enough to fit in the bed of a pickup truck. However, a trailer is going to be the easiest possible way to move this thing around. It just makes everything a lot easier. I know there's a little bit more work involved, but once you get a trailer, it's just so much more convenient to use the boat. So I use a trailer. This trailer right here is actually for a small 13 foot whaler and I use it for both boats here. I'm just using it to move around the yard as I finish this boat up and ship it out. And I just built two parallel bunks right here. And you can see the bunk right here going across and the boat just sits on those two bunks and that's it. It just strap it down and it's not moving at all. And when I want to use this trailer for the other boat, four screws and those bunks come out and we're back to trailering the other boat. Another very common question is how much weight can this thing float? It'll actually float over 1,400 pounds. However, at 1,400 pounds, you basically have no freeboard left and it's very unpractical, but practically speaking, 800 pounds is a good weight limit for this little 11 foot boat, which frankly, I don't think you could fit more than 800 pounds a gear. Another very common question that I get is shipping. How does that work? So these are basically put on a skid and then semi crated and they come on a freight truck and those are delivered right to the end of your driveway. Uh, they schedule an appointment, they'll call you, they'll make sure that you're there at that time to receive the package and you basically just slide it off the back of the truck because of that skid. And with two guys, it's not that hard to do. The boat itself weighs around 170 pounds, so it's pretty manageable to move around. I move them around by myself all the time, but with two guys, it's, it's very easy to do. You can pick the whole thing up and move it onto the trailer, move it into the beds of pickup trucks, walk it down the beach, whatever it is, you can just pick it up and move it. So again, keep in mind that this is the base model, which means the deck is basically a blank slate. So another question I get a lot of the time is what kind of seats, is there a seat? And you can put any seat you want on there. I will install whatever hardware is needed if you have a particular seat that you want to do. It's very easy to get any kind of seat you want on this boat. It's generally going to go right in between these two hatches. That's a nice sweet spot for balancing out the boat when you're just trolling around and when you're running at speed. There's also all sorts of options online that you can check out if you want a trolling motor mount that can be on there as well that bolts on and off but i can provide the holes and all the hardware for that to be easy to take on and off if you want that rod racks rod storage those can be done as well and that is down within the holes there's pretty much an endless amount of options that you can do to this boat to trick it out and make it exactly what you want and so that's why the base model comes just as you see it here it's pretty much a blank slate for you to build a boat to fit your needs and whether you're gonna do all that building yourself or you wanna work with me to, to get it done, we can make it happen very easily.